Hi, I'm Lynn Brick. Welcome to this week's Fit Tip. These five things could save your life. Well, it's a new year and time for a new, fresh perspective on your health and well being. How, you may ask? I want you to become keenly aware that you are aware. Now, here's a question for you What does a mouth ulcer, psoriasis, severe neck pain, and severe foot pain have in common? Well, you may think absolutely nothing, but in reality, they were all related, and I experienced every one of those symptoms myself. And it wasn't until I finally went to a couple of different doctors and had an x-ray of my foot and revealed a second metatarsal fracture in my left foot. And it was a miraculous recovery because after I stabilized my foot, every wearing this boot, every single one of those symptoms disappeared. My mouth ulcer faded away, my neck pain went away, my psoriasis even cleared it after I stabilized my foot. It was just miraculous. Well, my body was talking to me. Actually, it wasn't talking to me. My body was screaming at me to get my foot checked. And it eventually thanked me for doing that by healing itself. Now, is your body screaming at you too? Well, maybe perhaps it is, but I want you to become keenly aware that you are aware of everything in your body. And here are five things you should do every single day to assess your body, your health and well-being every single day. And basically all you do is use the five senses. Basically the five senses are really all the gifts that God gave you. Here's the first one, look. Every morning I want you to remove all of your clothing and look at yourself in the mirror from head to toe. Check to make sure your shoulders are evenly balanced and that you have great posture. Check to make sure your spine is straight as well. Your hips are aligned over your knees and your knees are aligned over your toes. Now look at your skin. Make sure that you see, uh, check for any rashes, lesions, or any kind of irritations, lumps that don't seem to be healing or that seem to be unusual. All right, look at your moles and see if there are any changes in the color. And now really look at your skin. Look at your skin, especially your face. Check for dark circles under your eyes. It really could be indicating that something is going on there. Look to see if you have any bloody discharge from your, in your urine, your stool, or even your nose. Uh, that goes without saying. All right, so really look at your body from head to toe, including your hair, your skin, and uh, the way your body is aligned. The second sense is to look, listen, listen to your body. Now, what I mean by that is listen to your joints. Do you hear your knees and your hips talking to you when you get out of the car or get out of bed or move at all? Um, do you hear your lungs wheezing when you're walking or walking up and down the steps? So I really want you to use your ears to listen to different parts of your body. But the most important listening you need to do is listen to the other people who are significant and important in your life who tell you things about yourself because they usually love you and are telling you the truth. So the next sense, the third sense is to feel. I want you to feel for any lumps, feel for anything that seems unusual, not only on the surface, but also inside your belly, inside your chest. It's, it just, it's something that just doesn't feel right. Do you feel pain or discomfort? Do you feel uh, when you walk or, or when you're just doing your normal activities of daily living? Do you feel anything that just seems unusual? Uh, how's your mood? How's your sex life? How well do you sleep at night? So really focus on your feeling, uh, how you feel throughout the day as well as at night. All right, so that's the third one. Look, listen, and feel. The fourth sense I want you to focus on is your sense of smell. Do you smell any unusual odors from a vaginal discharge, a mucus cough, or even your breath? Now the last sense I want you to focus on is your gut. Trust your gut. If anything in your body or your energy or your life just seems unusual, go ahead and get it. When in doubt, check it out and go to a medical professional to, to uh, see if there's anything really happening in your body. It may not. It may be a false alarm. That would be the best news. But when in doubt, check it out and trust your gut. So there you have it. The five senses for you to focus on. Your look, listen, feel, smell, and your gut. Now I'd like to close each one of my tips with a thought for the day. And the thought for the day is from Marie Curie. 
There's nothing in life to be feared. It's only to be understood. I thought they were very important words, especially as we begin this new year. So if you like this tip, you can feel free to pass this on to a friend, family member, or coworker. If you'd like to see any past tips, please log on to limbricks.com. And I'd love to hear your feedback. Please make any comments on my blog, bloggingwithlyn, L-Y-N-N-E dot com. If you'd like to see the text version, just click on the link. And until we meet again, you go girl.